Welcome to my channel learn with Razor and today I'm going to teach you the binary numbers so this lesson is uh, basically for grade 9 students so once you have learned this lesson uh, you'll be clear with these areas uh, you will know what are binary numbers and how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers and decimal numbers to binary numbers and you also you will be learning addition and subtraction of binary numbers so these areas will be covered at the end of this video so watch until the end and let's uh, clarify all the doubts okay numbers here we have to know two types of numbers uh, when you are doing this that is uh, there is something called decimal numbers and there is something called binary numbers so these two are important so decimal numbers means any number with the base 10 any number with the base 10 and binary numbers means ones and zeros so you get binary numbers only with number 1 and 0. You can't get any other number. So binary numbers are represented by 1 and 0. Usually we call that as the computer language like the computer understand that numbers. And decimal numbers are the normal digits like we can take 8 to the base 10, 145 to the base 10. So likewise those are the decimal numbers. Right now I'll teach you how to express decimal numbers to binary numbers. So first one let's take 145 to the base 10 so this is a decimal number now I am going to express this decimal number in the binary form so when you are expressing any decimal number in binary form the rule is we have to divide the number continuously by 2 until we get the 1 like until it is divisible completely so 145 now I am going to divide by 2 so in short division method 14 in 14 if I divide it by 2 in 14 we have 7 twos and uh, in 5 we have 2 twos so in 5 we have 2 twos but 1 remains that remainder you had right in front and the second thing again divided by 2 in 7 you have 3 twos and 1 remains then this is 12 in 12 you have six twos and no remainder finally again divide by two in three you have one two one remainder then 16 in 16 16 divide by two is eight and finally no remainder 18 divide by two nine no remainder nine divide by two four and one remainder 4 divided by 2, 2 and no remainder. 2 divided by 2, that is 1 and no remainder. So, 1 divided by 2, you don't have anything, so that 1 will remain. Now, consider the numbers that are out here. This is the binary form. But this binary format should be written from below to top. It's like this. 1, 0, 0. Again 1. And 3 zeros. And 1. And you this is in the base of 2. Because this is a binary number. Binary numbers are base 2 and decimal numbers are base 10. So this is the way of converting decimal numbers to binary numbers we continuously divide it up to 2 until we get the 0 and the numbers in the outside the remainders remainders are the value of the binary number right now let's see again a decimal number with the base 10 124 so we have to divide it look at carefully now 12 divided by 2 6 4 divided by 2 is 2 then no remainder Again dividing by 2, 6 divided by 2, 3, 2 divided by 2, 1, no remainder. Now 31 divided by 2, we all know that there are 15 because in 3 we have 1 and 1 remainder, in 11 we have 5 and another 1 remainder. 15 divided by 2, 7, 1 remainder, 7 divided by 2, 3 and 1 remainder, 
3 divided by 2, 1 and 1 remainder, 1 divided by 2 and we don't have, so again that 1 remains. So the answer will be 1, 1 and how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5, double 0 to the base 2. So this is the binary conversion of the decimal number 124. Right. Let's do another one. Right. Now the same thing. 247 divided by 2, 1, 2, 3 and 1 remainder. 123 divided by 2, 6, 1 and 1 remainder. Because in 6, 6, 61 divided by 2. In 6 we have 3 and 1 we don't have. So that 1 remains. 30 divided by 2, 30 is even number. So it's divisible without any remainders. 15 divided by 2, 7 and a 1 remainder. 7 divided by 2, 3 and 1 remainder. 3 divided by 2, 1 and 1 remainder. 1 divided by 2, 0 and 1 remainder. So this is the binary conversion 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 1, 1 to the base 2. So this is the binary conversion of decimal numbers. Now let's see how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers. Right. In the previous uh, conversion, uh, we continuously divided, but here it's not that, uh, we had to multiply. So before everything, uh, you should know two things. 10 to the power 0 will be equal to 1 and also 2 to the power 0 will be equal to 1. So these two should be remembered and uh, here we are most time we are considering about 2 to the powers. So for example, if I consider in a, uh, a binary number. 1 double 0 1 0 double 1 0 so this is a binary number so I put for the base 2 so this binary number we are going to convert them into uh, decimal number so first of all what you have to do just keep a gap and write them again like this right then from behind from behind you have to start writing uh, for the base uh, of 2 to the powers of 2 that is 2 to the power 0 starting from 2 to the power 0 and we are continuing to this side and when we are coming forward like for this side uh, the powers will be increasing 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 5, 6 and 7. So as I told you 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1. 2 to the power 1 means 2 times 1. So that will be 2. 2 to the power 2 is 2 times 2. 2 times 2. 2 occurs twice. The number 2 occurs twice. That will be 4. 2 to the power 3 means number 2 occurs 3 times. Then 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So another method will be easy method will be 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 and 2 to the power 4 will be 8 times 2 that is 16, 16 times 2 32, 32 times 2 64, 64 times 2 is 128. So that is how to get the answer of the powers. Now still not finished. We have to consider the values that are under the number 1 only. So only the numbers which are having a binary 1, binary 1. So I'll just uh, circle them. Here this value is not taken, but this is taken, this is taken, this and this. So these values, what we have to do is, we have to add them. 128 plus, 16 plus, 4 plus, 2. So when you add these, you will be getting 150 to the base 10. This is the decimal number. Base 10 means a decimal number. So now we converted binary number to decimal number. So this binary number means this is the value. So computer understands if we type 150, it understands it as this value. Right. Let's see another example. Right. The second example. Again, let's write it with a certain gap. Lots of zeros are there. 1, 1. So now, as I told you, write them as powers of 2. Starting from 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 6 and 2 to the power 7. So now the values. 2 to the power 0 is always 1. Write 1 there. 2 to the power 1, 2. 
4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So this can extend as well to the power 8 can come to the power 9, 10, 11 and its powers would increase when the binary number increases. So now we have to write down the values. Right, we already wrote and we have to get down the values which are having the binary number 1. The binary number 1, only that is considered. So this value is considered, this value is considered. But this value is not considered because it is in the off mode, 0. So this is considered and this is considered. Now let's add them. 128 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1. 8 plus 2 is 10. 128 plus 10, 138. 138 plus 1 is 139. So 139 to the base 10 will be the binary answer of uh, decimal answer of the binary number, right? So this is how to convert any binary number into decimal number, right? The next part of the lesson, the most important, uh, addition of binary numbers. So addition of binary numbers is not just like the addition of normal uh, Roman Arabic numbers. So there are some rules some relationships you have to observe. So then adding binary numbers, as I told you, binary numbers means ones and zeros only. One and zeros only. So there are some rules, just observe. When you are adding a binary number one, so the base two, binary numbers are base two, plus and a zero, another binary number. So one plus zero, so that is a normal, one plus zero will be one. In binary rule also, one plus zero will be one. When you are adding 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2, two ones, that won't be 2 because 2 is not a binary number. Answer should come in binary. So that will be 10. And when you add 3 ones plus, plus 1 base 2, that will be not 3 because 3 is not a binary number, that is 11. 11 to the base 2 because 1 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 1 can be 11 right so based on these rules we have to do the addition of binary numbers right let's go for an example a simple example let's take first of all 1 1 1 1 0 1 so these are binary numbers so I put the base Right, if I'm asked to add this one, what you have to do is, now we'll add them, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 according to the rule that is 10, so 0, the last digit come here and the remaining goes here, unit 1 come here, again 1 plus 1 plus 0, so 1 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 0 is also 10, so 0 and 1, now 3 ones are there, 3 ones mean 11, so the binary answer would be, 1, 1, 0, 0 to the base 2. Right. Let's do another one. A simple one. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 should be added with 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Let's add this now. 1 plus 1 according to the rule of addition of binary numbers. It is 10. So 0 and 1 comes here. Again 3 ones are added. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. And this remaining comes here. 1 plus 1, that is 10. So 0 and 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 10. 0 and 1. Again, 1 plus 1, that is 10. So the answer would be 1, triple 0, 1, 0. So all are to the base 2 because they are binary. Right. So we'll do more examples on this uh, addition of binary numbers that will clarify. Right, uh, so now again here are set of uh, some addition of uh, binary numbers. So let's do that. 1 plus 1, 10, 0 and 1 remainder. 3 ones are there, then 11. Again 2 ones are there, then 10. 3 ones are there, 11. Now 1 plus 0, that is 1. 1 plus 1, that is 10. So this is the answer. Once again here, 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1, that is 1. 0 plus 1, again 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 10, base 2. And here, 3 set of numbers are given. So, just add them. 3 ones are there, so 11. 
Again, 3 ones are there, 11, 2 ones are there, then 10, and 0, and 1, that is base 2. Again, three sort of numbers are given in the linear way. I arrange them in the addition form. So, I get 1 plus 1 plus 1 according to the addition rule, that is 11. 1 plus 1 plus 1, again 11. 1 plus 1 plus 1, again 11. And 1 plus 1 is 10 to the base 2 because they are binary numbers. So, this is the way of adding binary numbers. So, now let's see how to do the subtraction of binary numbers as well. Now, let's do the subtraction of binary numbers. So, when you are subtracting binary numbers, there are certain rules to follow. 10 minus 1 is 1. How it comes is this way. So, 10 minus 1 means 0 minus 1 is not possible. So, we carry that 1 from here. But it will become a 2. Just imagine it becomes as a 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Right? So then 1 minus 0 is 1. That is a normal method as well. 1 minus 1 is 0. So that is also a normal method. So no confusions in that. Only this thing is the main that you have to remember. So let's do that. 1 minus 1, 0. And here this one comes as it is. 0 minus 1, not possible. So we carry. Then it becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And here not there anything. 0. And here base 2. So this thing only you should remember. Again here, 1 minus 1, 0. 0 minus 1 is not possible, then we carry, it becomes 2, let's say, 2 minus 1 is 1, here nothing, 0. So, this you can write as 1, 0 and 2 as well or as 0, 1, 0, 2 as well. And this one, a lengthy one, a little bit of lengthy one. So, in this kind of one, you have to be more careful when you are doing this uh, carrying. So, when you are asking the depth from the previous number. So, let's see, 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0, that is 1. 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 1 is not possible. And we can't ask the previous number as well. So, we have to bring it from here. Now, I am carrying. This will become 2. From 2, I will take it for here. And here, that will become 2 now. And this becomes 1. And this 2, I am taking here. This will become 1. Then, from here, 2 minus 1 is 1, as I told you here. And here that one comes as it is, this one comes as it is. And here we have 0 now because we gave that one. 0 minus 1 is not possible, then we carry, then here it becomes 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1 and here no number 0. And this is the binary number. So these kind of ones when you are doing, you have to be more alert on carrying things. So let's practice more, then with will be fine. Well, now with another example. Same thing, subtraction, 0 minus 0, you know that is 0. Here again 0, here 0. 1 minus 1, the normal addition subtraction 0. Again 1 minus 1, 0. But here 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1 is 1. I told you we can carry, it becomes 2 and you can apply the, uh, you know, the general common knowledge that is 2 minus 1, 1. And here 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 0. 0 minus 1 is not possible, so we carry. When I carry from here, this becomes 2. And when I carry from that 2, now this becomes 2. And this 2 will become 1. And this 1 will become 0. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 here, 1 minus 0 is 1. And 0 minus 1, again not possible. So we can carry again, then it will become 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And here, this 1 is now not there. It is 0. And here, 10 minus 1 is 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. There is a binary of this subtraction. So, this is all what I want to teach you in uh, binary numbers. So, we discussed about addition, subtraction and conversions of binary numbers. So, hope this video has helped you to understand the lesson binary numbers.